Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, the a and crew will be reporting from Sun and Fun all week. We'll let you know how to view the Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. Lance Air previews their piston-powered Evolution Hot Rod at Sun and Fun. I'm Brie Cross, it's April 4th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Things may look a little different on Airborne Unlimited this week because we have locked the office door while we are covering the events in person at Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. That's right, as some parts of our country are experiencing a return of winter weather. We'll bite the bullet to bring you all the news from Lakeland, where the weather is forecast to be in the mid-70s all week. It's a dirty job, but we'll do it for you. Our Sun and Fun Innovation Preview launched Saturday morning, and it's just the start of our Sun and Fun coverage. Stay with us as the A&N crew digs deeper into the innovations and happenings as Sun and Fun performs the kickoff for aviation events to follow. If you're attending Sun and Fun and happen to see some of our crew in action, be sure to say hi. Better than we hoped for, that's the way to describe the results of our first Sun and Fun Innovation Preview that we call the SFIP. It's over an hour of aero innovative disruption at its best. The staff at the Sun and Fun Fly-In and the Aero News Network have released the latest in a novel Aero TV airborne program designed to draw attention to the most innovative and aggressively oriented companies in the aviation universe. The SFIP provides you comprehensive program containing short three to four minute online media presentations that will give you a glimpse of what is really new and innovative at Sun and Fun. The video presentations are carefully managed to provide useful information about groundbreaking products that go beyond normal sales hype. You can watch the whole thing or you can just look at it a bit at a time. It's going to remain up long after Sun and Fun, so it'll provide a great resource for reviewing what's new. However, here's a warning, you may get hooked when you start watching. You'll see a link to the SFIP in the header of aero-news.net and it's also available on other sources. We have found an innovative way to bring you Sun and Fun innovations. After the break, Lance Air goes with a new Lycoming engine. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. For several decades, the aviation world has come to expect much from Lance Air International, a company that helped bring about new capabilities and sophistication to the high-performance sport aviation marketplace. From its earlier piston-powered airplanes to the speedy Lance Air Evolution turboprop, this is a company that has made innovation part of its DNA. Now Lance Air International is showcasing its 240-knot Lycoming-powered Evolution during an unveiling flight at the Sun and Fun. The Evolution is powered by the Lycoming Integrated Electronic Controlled Engine, referred to as the IE2. According to Lance Air, this four-place airframe boasts an 1,800 nautical mile range, 2,200 foot per minute initial rate of climb, a 1,900 pound useful load, and an economy cruise enabled range of 2,500 nautical miles. The takeoff and landing distance is said to be about 1,600 feet. Lycoming's IE2 engine is the company's flagship technology. It is an engine controlled concept designed from the ground up to improve safety and operation. The IE2 system features continuously optimizing multi-port fuel injection systems for optimum power and fuel consumption performance. It appears this engine and this airframe were made for each other. After these messages, Whip Air is approved for the Blackhawk engine mods.
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Whipair has announced that Black Hawk Modifications of Waco, Texas has appointed Whipair's Leesburg, Florida facility as an authorized dealer and installation center for Black Hawk's XP series engine upgrades. The facility recently completed the Black Hawk modification installation on a Cessna caravan. Navworks reached an agreement with Garmin enabling connectivity to the company's GNS and GTN line of navigators. Under the agreement, Navworks' ADS-600B will interface with existing certified position sources, providing the required WAS GPS to meet the FAA ads out mandate. A new weight shift trike is set to make its U.S. debut at the Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida this week. PM Aviation out of the U.K. says their Pulsar is at the cutting edge of weight shift control design. You'll see it flying at Sun and Fun. When SpaceX launches its next Dragon cargo ship to the ISS this month, it will carry a Bigelow Expanded Activity Module to the station. Once inflated, the module will add an entirely new room to the orbiting outpost. Four aviation educators received their Master Instructor designation in March. They are John Dahl, Master CFI of Salina, Kansas, Andrew Dow, Master Aviation Educator of Quincy, Illinois, David Fail Jr., Master Instructor Emeritus of Fairfield, Connecticut, and Michael Elion, Master CFI of Tarpon Springs, Florida. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Dynon Avionics and Advanced Flight Systems announced two new avionics products for experimental and light sport aircraft. Dynon's new Skyview SE is made specifically for VFR aircraft and pilots who want what Dynon calls the most intuitive flight and engine instruments on the market. The company reports they feature simple and clear displays with almost no menus to navigate in flight. At the same time, they say the Skyview SC retains Dynon's EFIS capabilities. Skyview SC displays have the same dimensions and mounting requirements as existing Skyview 7-inch and 10-inch displays. Their second new product announcement is the AF5700 display, which combines a 12.1-inch screen with a minimized installation footprint. It reportedly has new advanced touch interface and gives pilots the opportunity to install a large screen EFIS in an instrument panel that previously could not support one. Both of these new Dynon products are available for shipping this month. Avidyne Corporation has announced that they are making synthetic vision accessible for all general aviation aircraft by making it available on every version of their growing line of IFD series GPS FMS systems. Dan Schwinn, Avidyne President and CEO, said in part, quote, Now any aircraft owner upgrading their old panel-mounted navigator to an Avidyne IFD will get a modern hybrid touchscreen WASP GPS, a place to view ADSB traffic and weather, and a gorgeous synthetic vision display all in the same panel space. Synthetic Vision is part of the upcoming release 10.2 software, which will be made available later this year pending final certification. The new IFD 550 and IFD 545 with ARS and GPS-only IFD 510 and IFD 410 models will be available at the same time. Avidyne's Mitch Biggs said, quote, Avidyne now offers six versions of our IFD series GPS FMS systems, and all of them offer synthetic vision. With integrated synthetic vision and integrated Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, no other navigators offer so much functionality, situational awareness, and ease of use. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us in a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. 
from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.